Welcome back to my channel and welcome to CD collection update number 14. Can't believe we've reached 14 at this stage, lads, but um, you know, I've got a lot of CDs as you can see to show you. Um, so first off, I guess I want to address being gone. Um, I was gone for a period of about two months, but now I'm back. This stuff that you're seeing right now is all pre-recorded, so while I was gone I was filming the likes of videos like this. But um yeah, basically it is just between life you know getting in the way like didn't have time to film because this is a hobby for me like it's not a career or anything so obviously career paths and stuff do come first and sometimes that's unfortunate but you know um i'm back now and i'm ready to show you my cds which i have a huge backlog i don't know if you can see but now that you can see my cd shelf all this stuff is things that i need to show you in upcoming videos and that doesn't even include cassettes and vinyls um, and I'm constantly adding to the collection like every week or so um, yeah look it's been a great year for my channel a great first year um, as of the time that this would be out the channel is probably a year old um, you know I haven't thought about like what I'm gonna do to mark that occasion yet because this is like you're seeing this in the past but whatever um, look let's just get into the CDs I suppose so I have as per usual about five CDs to show you today um, a mixture of stuff some stuff that I blind bought you know the usual uh, so yeah let's just get into it um, also you may notice that I'm in my old setup I suppose got the cannibal corpse flag there in the background and stuff and I'm back on my chair um, still figuring out the angles you know as you can see I'm kind of looking up like this to the camera because um trying to rejig the whole room around for recording is just such like a fucking dose some days so sometimes i don't have time for it but today i'm here uh looking up but still i'm here and i'm ready to show you my stack of cds so let's get into the video so first up here we have a second hand version of light me up by the pretty reckless um again apologize for the lighting quality still figuring out the new setup uh, which is something you've heard me say across the whole first year of the channel like I swear it's never gonna change but um, we work with it and look there will be a CD floor show at the end so don't worry about that as well this is episode 14 you know I kind of have a system at this stage uh, so yeah I'll show you the back there uh, as you can see I got this for a stunning price of four euro second hand um, so yeah I like the pretty reckless don't listen to them a lot um, but you know, uh, the odd song here and there. Some really nice stuff there as well. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the booklet. This is why I hate dual cases. I say it every time. And every time I take a break from filming and come back, uh, the dual case seems to kind of haunt me. And I just don't know how to feel about that other than to hate it. But anyway, um, yeah, look, photography in the middle. Uh, lyric pages then kind of the rest of it don't really need to show you that um, you know lead singer obviously you're gonna have pictures and stuff but yeah other than that pretty normal shit for um, any kind of band like CD format really so I gotta fix the jewel case now as well as record this which is just stunning there we go got it back on um, yeah look let me read you the track list this is a 2010 scope records i believe 2010 release uh, of this album i will double check and you know obviously in editing it will have, you will have already seen it by the time you're hearing me say this but yeah let me um read the track list to you so my medicine since you're gone make me want to die light me up title track iconic um just tonight miss nothing uh, going down, nothing left to lose, Factory Girl and You. I actually haven't heard this album yet. Um, like, well, I hadn't when I bought it. Obviously, I've heard it now. But you know, it was a good one. Not my favorite, and not like completely some kind of thing that I'd be into. But 
it's kind of like one of my intersectional tastes that I spin every now and then uh, similar to the likes of meatloaf and things that I do pop up in my collection um, unfortunately I'm still trying to get off this sticker but yeah uh, I'm gonna have to like soak the jewel case which is gonna be a whole nother process but yeah um, look good stuff can't say much about it because I'm not a huge Pretty Reckless fan but uh, it's pretty good so there's Light Me Up by Pretty Reckless also iconic cover because it's like the main singer is like a little girl um, very thematic stuff there and make me want to die and miss nothing as you can see on this sticker here you'll see at the end because um, you see it better in the CD floor show you know they're obviously pretty famous uh, singles so yeah the pretty reckless like me up not my favorite not my least favorite just one of those odd spins found a bargain picked it up uh, let's get on to the next CD next up we have skeptics pathetic being this was another, um, you know, cheap secondhand CD shop find. Got this for another four euro, which is absolutely stunning. Um, I hadn't heard of this band at all. You know, didn't think much of it. Just tried to pick it up. Really liked the cover and the green. Um, that stood out to me. There goes the booklet that the jewel case stayed on this time. Um, the art is really nice as well. You know, obviously, um, I'm very drawn to art. I'm studying art. So yeah, um, pretty simple lyric book, nothing really special in here, but it does really look nice and it definitely looks the part. Um, so yeah, listen, these random bands you find, sometimes you can't even find them on social media and stuff anymore. That's kind of the joys of it, I think. And this one comes with a video clip of the title track, Pathetic Being. So I thought that was really cool as well, because um, I have a kiddie CD that has that as well, it has like a video, like a music video on the CD and I think that's like something nice, you know, and it, I'm also a DVD collector so it stands the test of time with me, you know, I'm gonna be watching that. Um, so let me read you the 10 tracks now. So intro, ancient portal, pathetic being, obviously title track. Uh, only lies, ancestor of all powers, incapable rulers, lost identity, arctic crypt, particles of time and children's eyes. This is good stuff, um, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was, not 100% my thing but definitely like you know anything that's like umbrella term um, alternative music be it from post hardcore to grunge to metal to punk like most of the time I'm gonna like it so I took a chance on this one and it definitely paid off um, also you can see the picture of the band there which is nice I will be showing that in better detail at the end but there we have skeptics pathetic being onto the next CD next up another CD shop find this is gorgeous look at that art you will see it better in the end obviously but even the sticker like that gold i was instantly drawn to this as well as my friend was um this is high on fires death is this communion so obviously we're getting into some catholic stuff here love that um definitely have no catholic trauma growing up in ireland at uh, the island of ireland the jewel cases just hate me and I've been looking to find out what disc this was for ages and only now when I'm sitting down to record I realise what disc it is. So you know what, let me just take a second here, it's my first day back, cut me some slack, I'm about to assemble this, I see the issue, the jewel case broke, uh, which is obviously fine because I can just get a new one and I have loads of ones that I can replace it with anyway. Right, I'm just going to show it to you apart because you know what, we'll just fold it up and we'll make it work. So obviously you've seen this let's take out there's a little booklet of an ad there with some giant fetus and shit like that that's pretty cool um that up there this art really just struck me because it's so beautiful and here's the back absolutely gorgeous stuff um so yeah definitely like the vibes are immaculate here you know and i want to really show this off because as an art student like this is just beautiful um and like amazing and i love um obviously there's some lyrics in there too but like it's very like celtic in its design and as an irish soul i'm obviously quite drawn to that 
Um, <laughs> naturally, I'm very patriotic. And there's songs on it like Ethereal and stuff, you know, it just the whole album gives me like Celtic fantasy vibes in the best way possible. And I can't recommend this enough, especially for the cheap price of, I don't know, because I took the sticker off. But usually I get these for like four to one euro, maybe five. Um, very, very good finds. So if you have a local CD shop and you're wanting to get started collecting any type of music or any type of CDs, uh, charity shops and secondhand CD shops and just music shops in general are your way to go. Uh, so this gorgeous um, release as well, Relapse Records on that, which I didn't know prior to reading it just there. Um, gorgeous disc that this was released on and yeah it's just like I don't want to ramble but you know look at this stuff that's gorgeous you're gonna see it better at the end I told you but yeah so let me read you the track list now Fury Whip Waste of Time At listen I can't I can barely speak English don't expect me to know the words um, Death is this communion title track, uh, Conrad's Wall, Turk Headhunter, and then Rumors of War, Die, Cyclopean Scape, Ethereal, and Return to Nod. Uh, that one tested me in my ways of writing, but yeah, listen, I didn't know anything about this band, and I feel like I'm saying this a lot in this video, but this is just because that is the nature of these finds in the charity shops and the you know secondhand little hidden corner shops and stuff um, the nature of it is that it's very often very often even local music or sometimes more mainstream stuff like in this case relapse records you know so obviously they're kind of a big deal but um, I had never heard of them uh, prior to this but you know that's the best way to like expand your horizons other than online and just blind listening uh, I love blind buying I used to hate it but you know more often than not I tend to love something so now if I see something and it looks cool and looks like I jam to it I'll just pick it up and see how I feel about it and um, for this it's definitely accurate and I just like to state as well that on the sticker it does say produced and recorded by Jack and Dino uh, or Endino listen me and pronouncing names I always have an accent anyways it's never gonna work um, so basically this dude worked on uh, projects with the likes of Nirvana and Soundgarden um, and High on Fire's ultimate sonic masterpiece is what they're dubbing this one and I definitely think without having listened to the rest of this band as a whole or any of their other albums that um, this one's a gold one this one's pretty good so yeah um not that this is a review but if it had to be 10 out of 10 for me let's stop rambling let's get on to the next cd if you know who these guys are let me know in the comments because i definitely don't but i love this album and i hope to eventually be able to get more of these guys so yeah hey guys this is lauren editing um just realized that my camera cut out but i wasn't able to show you this so this is generation graveyards yeah generation graveyards uh lone wolves it's a gorgeous piece of music um kind of grungy and stuff bit of rock there i didn't say too much about it but i just didn't want you to miss out on the actual cd portion you know so i'm sorry i have to do this but yeah basically i bought this in a secondhand shop and it had never been spun before like the wrapper was still on it never been opened before so um yeah naturally i picked it up um bargain as per usual and yeah there's some great songs on there unfortunately didn't get time to list the track list and stuff um but yeah you know i don't even know if these guys are still around but if you know who they are let me know because i did not prior to picking this up um yeah absolutely great stuff um and yeah i'll insert the clip about the rest of me talking about it but just to give you some context on that because my camera hates me anyway on with the video you know someone bought this and they never spun it and then they just sold it onto this charity shop well not charity shop but you know secondhand cd shop whatever so i had to pick it up and let me tell you it's really cool i would say it's more like um post hardcore kind of rock vibes maybe even emo but yeah 
it's really really good um and look at the pristine condition it's in oh my god like lads i could not pass up on this opportunity um and the band like their whole vibe is really cool i don't even know to be honest i didn't do my research i don't even really know if these guys are still around but if they are i'm gonna go follow them after this video because they're really good so yeah um someone you know had this never listened to it and that's just wild to me uh let me show you the track list abominate slash desolate human hive the empty deletist lone wolves bonus track human hive stereo juggernaut remix so yeah um gotta see if these guys are still around but overall great stuff there uh post hardcore kind of emo -y rock i know that's like totally different genres that i just mixed together in one sentence that probably shouldn't be fused but you know um just gives me like grungy vibes uh, and i love that so yeah on to our final cd now next up we have fight stars grand unification and this is a, a special edition um i got this for a whopping three euro like what a bargain i actually got two of these fight star albums and those guys put out some really good stuff hadn't heard of them prior to picking up the likes of that but let me tell you when i did like i just never went back um first of all let's appreciate the stickers and the cover art and all of that good stuff you will see it better in detail at the end um next let's just open it out i suppose and show you so there like you can see like just really cool stuff um i don't even know what more to say than that to be honest with you because like it's just bomb um really nice booklet as well a little bit damaged but like for three euro i'm not complaining it's in pristine condition uh when you take into account the price uh yeah like these bargains really are the way to go and if you're trying to grow your collection with a lot of things that are um uniquely kind of you know from your area or just uh lesser known uh, along with some kind of mainstream stuff that you like um this is the way to go i'm not saying that all of my collection that i get here are like the most underground thing in the world but you know they are a lot of times uh just local irish bands who maybe even disbanded after their first few cds but then i'm growing a new love and expanding my horizons to different music and that's what it's all about um so track list here is a long one but i'm going to read it to you anyway to sleep grand unification part one waste a moment sleep well tonight paint your target build an army here again last conversation lost like tears in rain open your eyes mono hazy eyes grand unification part two and wake up so just to give some context there let me find you the year this is 2006 universal records nearly had a stroke trying to say that universal records um release love this song uh, i haven't listened to cds since the last time i probably recorded uh, maybe a few in between then but this is just so nice to like chill listen to cds show off the new bits of the collection um i do apologize that the jewel case is a bit cracked but you know you'll see it better at the end which is coming up because i'm almost done talking about this <laughs> yeah so i got two five star albums um I think I almost preferred the other one to this one, but you'll see that in the next CD collection update, which should be coming out now in the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, future me will have let you know already, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to be on track posting for this month now because, you know, I had a long break and it's time to get back into it. So yeah, gorgeous stuff here. Um, and what a price, you know? So just to recap, let me show you everything that I just showed you already. All right, so we had Light Me Up by The Pretty Reckless. We had Skeptic's Pathetic Being, including a video of the performance as well of that song. We had High on Fire's Death Is This Communion, absolutely gorgeous art there as well. We had Generation Graveyards, Lone Wolves, really good stuff, kind of grungy. Um, great additions to the collection and finally we had fight stars grand unification uh, so there's another five editions there for episode 14 onto my collection so these are going straight up on the shelf after i film the cd floor show um and yeah then i'll post them on my instagram you can find both my instagram and my cd 
Instagram uh, in the description below. And yeah, um, I'll see you in the next vinyl slash CD collection update. Uh, I took a long, long, long hiatus from Real Metal Talk, but I have some plans and I have some things in the works, hopefully that have been figured out by the time posting this. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll, future me will let you know that. But yeah, right now, you know, just uh, booking out the content, you know, just absolutely flinging out all my CDs trying to get through this backlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.